we are hurtling towards a future filled with dazzling promises. A world where humans transcend their limitations, where disease is a relic of the past, and our minds can be uploaded to digital realms. This is the dream of transhumanism, a philosophy that advocates for the use of technology to radically enhance our human experience. But what if the gleaming facade hides a sinister truth? What if the quest for ultimate human potential unleashes a Pandora's box of unforeseen consequences? This is not your typical story of a utopian future. This is a glimpse into the potential darkness that lurks beneath the shimmering surface of transhumanism. We're here to peel back the layers, to unveil the unsettling truths that may be waiting for us at the edge of the technological singularity. Join us as we delve into the ethical quagmire, the existential anxieties, and the real-world scenarios that could forever alter the very fabric of humanity. Are we prepared to tamper with the fundamental building blocks of what it means to be human? Fasten your seatbelts, because this is a journey into the uncharted territory of transhumanism, where the glittering promises may mask a chilling reality. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Understanding. Transhumanism. So, before we dive, head first into the Abyss. Let's establish some ground rules. What exactly is transhumanism? Imagine a world where humanity sheds its biological shackles. Transhumanism is a philosophical movement that believes in using cutting-edge technologies to fundamentally transform the human condition. This could involve anything from hacking our aging process to supercharging our brains with advanced interfaces. Now, buckle up because things are about to get a little mind-bending. Transhumanists posit a theoretical tipping point called the technological singularity. This is a hypothetical moment where artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence in a runaway fashion, fundamentally altering the course of human history. But let's not get lost in the land of robots just yet. Transhumanism is primarily focused on human enhancement. We're talking about bioengineering that could eradicate diseases, prosthetics that blur the lines between human and machine, and even neural implants that could boost our cognitive abilities to unimaginable heights. This vision of a superhuman future is undeniably captivating. But before we get swept away in the allure, we need to ask ourselves, is there a dark side to this glistening technological utopia? Let's find out. The allure and promises. A glimpse of utopia. Okay, so transhumanism paints a pretty picture, right? Let's delve into the captivating promises that fuel this movement. One of the most alluring concepts is mind uploading. Imagine being able to transfer your consciousness, your very essence, into a digital realm. No more worries about pesky biological limitations like death or disease. You could potentially live forever, explore virtual worlds, and even achieve a level of intelligence far surpassing what's currently possible. Sounds pretty sweet, doesn't it? But the allure doesn't stop there. Transhumanism also dangles the enticing carrot of immortality. By manipulating our biology, and perhaps even uploading our consciousness, some envision a future where death becomes a relic of the past, and it gets even more mind-blowing. Transhumanism paves the way for the potential emergence of posthumanism, a world where humanity as we know it ceases to exist. Imagine beings with enhanced cognitive abilities defying the physical constraints of our current bodies. This post-human vision paints a picture of a future where humanity transcends its limitations and evolves into something entirely new. It's a future 
brimming with possibilities. A world free from disease, limitations, and even death itself. But before we get carried away by the dazzling promises, we need to acknowledge the potential pitfalls lurking beneath the shiny surface. After all, is this vision of utopia truly achievable, or is it a path fraught with unforeseen consequences? We'll explore the dark side of transhumanism in the next segment. The Dark Side Unveiled, where utopia meets dystopia. Now, hold on a second. Before we pack our bags for this shiny new future, let's confront the elephant in the room, the potential downsides of transhumanism. First up, existential risks. Imagine artificial intelligence surpassing human control, evolving into a superintelligence that views us as obsolete. Or what if these advanced technologies malfunction, unleashing unforeseen consequences? Transhumanism, in its quest for ultimate enhancement, could inadvertently pave the way for our own demise. But the threat goes beyond just physical survival. What about our autonomy? Imagine a world where powerful corporations control brain-computer interfaces, dictating our thoughts and perceptions. Or a future where the wealthy elite become super-intelligent beings, further widening the social divide. Transhumanism, in its pursuit of enhancement, might inadvertently create a dystopian future where humanity loses control of its own destiny. But perhaps the most unsettling question is this. What does it even mean to be human anymore? If we can upload our consciousness, replace our limbs with cybernetics, and augment our brains with implants, are we still truly human? Transhumanism forces us to grapple with complex philosophical questions about identity and what makes us who we are. Are we willing to sacrifice the essence of human experience in exchange for a technologically enhanced existence? These are just some of the dark undercurrents swirling beneath the surface of transhumanism. The potential benefits are undeniable, but the ethical and existential questions demand serious consideration. In the next segment, we'll delve deeper into specific bioethical concerns and the real-world scenarios that could play out as we navigate this uncharted territory. Mind uploading, a double-edged sword. We mentioned mind uploading earlier, a concept that truly embodies the double-edged nature of transhumanism. Imagine escaping the confines of your physical body, existing purely in a digital realm. Sounds liberating, right? But hold your horses, because this technological marvel comes with a hefty dose of existential questions. First, there's the potential for alienation. What happens to our connection with the physical world if our consciousness resides in a digital space? Will we lose touch with the beauty and messiness of being human? Imagine experiencing a sunset only through a digital simulation. Can it ever truly replicate the awe, inspiring feeling of the real thing? Then, there are the ethical and moral complexities. What happens to the concept of death in a digital world? Can a digital consciousness be truly destroyed? Or will we be trapped in a never-ending existence? And who controls this digital afterlife? These are just some of the mind-bending questions that mind uploading throws at us. Furthermore, replicating a human consciousness with perfect fidelity might be beyond our current technological capabilities. What if the digital version of you is just a pale imitation, a hollow shell of your true self? These are unsettling possibilities that we need to consider before diving headfirst into the world of mind uploading. Mind uploading offers a glimpse of a future where we transcend our biological limitations. But before we get carried away by the possibilities, 
we need to acknowledge the potential pitfalls. The loss of our connection to the physical world, the ethical dilemmas surrounding digital consciousness, and the uncertainty surrounding the very nature of our uploaded selves. These are all crucial aspects to consider in the debate surrounding mind uploading, bioethical concerns, a minefield of moral dilemmas. So, the ethical implications of transhumanism are a tangled web. Let's unravel some of the thorniest issues. First up, access. Imagine a future where life, extending technologies or cognitive enhancements become outrageously expensive. Will only the wealthy elite be able to afford these life-altering upgrades? This could exacerbate social inequalities, creating a two-tiered system where the privileged transcend their limitations while the rest are left behind. Then there's the question of consent and individuality. If a child is given performance, enhancing brain implants before they can even comprehend the implications, are they truly given a choice? What happens to the concept of a natural human experience if these enhancements become commonplace? Regulation is another major hurdle. These powerful technologies raise unprecedented questions. Who gets to decide who has access to them? How do we ensure their safe and ethical development? Current regulatory frameworks might struggle to keep pace with the rapid advancements in transhumanist technologies. And let's not forget the potential for misuse. Imagine corporations wielding mind, controlled technology or governments using genetic engineering to create a super soldier race. The potential for dystopian scenarios is very real and we need robust safeguards in place to prevent this future from becoming our reality. The bioethical concerns surrounding transhumanism are complex and far-reaching. Questions of fairness, individual autonomy, and the potential for misuse demand serious consideration before we dive headfirst into this brave new world. Existential Reflections The Human Question Mark Now Let's take a step back from the technological bells and whistles and delve into some profound questions. Transhumanism forces us to confront the very essence of what it means to be human. We've always had a certain understanding of ourselves. Flawed biological beings with a finite lifespan, driven by emotions and a yearning for meaning. But transhumanism throws a wrench into this comfortable definition. Imagine a future where we can replace failing organs with cybernetic enhancements, where our cognitive abilities are amplified by neural implants, and where death itself may become a thing of the past. If we can fundamentally alter our physical and mental makeup, what defines us as human anymore? Does the concept of a soul even hold weight in a world of uploaded consciousnesses? And what about the human experience, the joys and sorrows, the triumphs and failures that shape who we are? Can these be replicated in a purely digital realm? Transhumanism forces us to grapple with complex philosophical questions about identity and purpose. Are these enhancements a natural progression or are we tampering with something fundamental, something that defines the human condition? There are no easy answers here, but these existential reflections are crucial as we navigate the uncharted territory of transhumanism. We need to have a clear understanding of what it means to be human before we embark on a journey that could fundamentally alter our very nature, real world, implications and scenarios, a glimpse into the future, for better or worse. So, transhumanism might sound like science fiction, but the reality is, we're already taking baby steps towards this futuristic vision. Let's talk about some existing technologies that echo the transhumanist dream. We've got prosthetic limbs that are becoming increasingly sophisticated, blurring the line between human and machine. Brain-computer interfaces are making strides, 
allowing paralyzed individuals to control external devices with their thoughts. And CRISPR gene editing holds immense potential for eradicating diseases and potentially even altering human traits. These are just a few examples, and the pace of innovation is only accelerating. But with every technological leap, we need to consider the potential pitfalls. Here's where things get a little unsettling. Imagine a future where artificial intelligence surpasses human control, evolving into a superintelligence that views us as obsolete. This AI rebellion scenario, often explored in science fiction, could be a terrifying reality if we're not careful about the development and deployment of these powerful technologies. Or consider a future where corporations wield mind-control technology, influencing our thoughts and behavior for their own gain. Imagine a world where social media giants exploit brain-computer interfaces to manipulate your emotions and buying habits. This loss of autonomy could be a chilling consequence of unchecked transhumanist advancements. These are just hypothetical scenarios but they serve as stark reminders of the importance of responsible development and ethical considerations. We need open conversations, robust regulations, and a clear understanding of the potential pitfalls before we unleash these powerful technologies on the world, a crossroads for humanity. As we reach the end of this exploration, let's take a moment to recap the key takeaways. Transhumanism promises a dazzling future, a world free from disease, limitations, and even death itself. But beneath the shimmering surface lies a dark undercurrent of existential anxieties and ethical dilemmas. We explore the potential for AI domination, the erosion of human autonomy, and the very real possibility of losing touch with what makes us human in the first place ethical dilemmas surrounding access, consent, and the potential for misuse by corporations and elites demand careful consideration. Now, here's the critical question. In our relentless pursuit of a perfect future, are we willing to sacrifice the very essence of what makes us human? Our flaws, our vulnerabilities, and the spectrum of emotions we experience. These are all part of the intricate tapestry of the human condition. Transhumanism presents us with a stark choice. We can embrace these advancements with open eyes, acknowledging the potential pitfalls and working tirelessly to mitigate them. Or we can blindly chase a utopian dream, risking the creation of a dystopian reality. The future is not set in stone. It depends on the choices we make today. Let's engage in open discussions, prioritize ethical considerations, ensure that any advancements in transhumanism serve the betterment of humanity, not its demise. So, the next time you hear about the wonders of transhumanism, remember this. The path to a brighter future is paved with critical thinking and a healthy dose of caution. Thank you for joining us on this thought-provoking journey.